He was known for being a French author born in Paris, who trained as a doctor. Recognized for his acclaimed series featuring the anti-hero Sullivan and his membership in the Académie Française. His name is Georges Duhamel. In the world of literature, one name stands out, Georges Duhamel, a French author whose impact on the literary landscape is undeniable. Born in the enchanting city of Paris, Duhamel's journey began with a different path in mind. He pursued a career in medicine, training as a doctor and even serving in the French army during World War I. But it was his passion for storytelling that truly set him apart. In 1920, Duhamel published his first novel, Confession de Minuit, which marked the beginning of a series centered around the complex anti-hero Sullivan. This captivating literary work introduced readers to a fascinating character and showcased Duhamel's unique storytelling abilities. His talent did not go unnoticed, and in 1935, Duhamel was elected as a member of the Académie Française, one of the highest honors a French author can receive. His contributions to the world of literature were further recognized through his nomination for the Nobel Prize in Literature a remarkable 27 times. Duhamel's impact extended beyond his own writing, as he also left a lasting legacy through his family. He was the proud father of Antoine Duhamel, a renowned musicologist and composer. This artistic lineage speaks to the profound influence George Duhamel had on the world of arts and culture. George Duhamel's life and work serve as a testament to the power of storytelling and the enduring impact of literature. His ability to create captivating narratives and his dedication to his craft have solidified his place in the annals of literary history. From his early novels featuring the complex character of Sullivan to his numerous nominations for the Nobel Prize, Duhamel's contributions have left an indelible mark on the world of literature. Georges Duhamel, born in Paris in 1884, had a challenging childhood, marked by financial struggles and frequent relocations. Despite these hardships, he managed to pass his baccalaureate in 1902 and pursued his dream of becoming a doctor, while also nurturing his love for literature and the arts. In 1906, Duhamel co-founded an artistic community called Le Bay de Cretile, which brought together poets, writers, musicians, and painters. He later became an editor of the literary review Mercure de France, eventually taking over its direction and publishing house in 1935. Duhamel's anti-war stance led to his replacement in 1938, but he returned to his role after the war in 1945. During World War I, Duhamel served as an army surgeon, experiencing the horrors of war firsthand. This traumatic period inspired him to write two successful narratives, By the Martyrs, and Civilization. After the war, he dedicated himself to literature and defending human civilization, finding solace in the Val d'Oise during his summer breaks. Recognizing his literary contributions, Duhamel was elected to the Académie Française in 1935. He traveled extensively, delivering captivating speeches on French language and culture, advocating for a civilization rooted in the human heart rather than technological progress. Throughout World War II, Duhamel's work was banned by the Germans. He displayed courage by opposing the occupation in the Patanist faction of the Académie Française, earning praise from General de Gaulle. After the war, he became the president of the Alliance Française, promoting French culture and establishing numerous schools. As his health declined in the 1960s, Duhamel reduced his activities and passed away in Belmondois in 1966. His legacy lives on through his great-granddaughter, Cécile de Bray, who represents his heirs. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.